Bridget Cosgrave. I'm Director General of Digital Europe, and I was Chairman of the Flexible IT Session in the e-government track. Okay, and give, can you maybe give me a short summary of the session? Yeah, so this session was comprised of three presentations. Firstly, we had a case study of the Immigration Service of the Netherlands, the Dutch government, and how they have implemented a new rules-based structure to cope with a very dynamic immigration scenario, as well as a highly politicized policy agenda. Uh, that was followed by a presentation from the Australian government on the overall IT program within Australia, a very significant uh, upgrade and investment both in systems as well as infrastructure. And then we had a report from the United States by a market research institute on findings of the cost of change. Okay, thank you. And uh, what were, from your point of view, the highlights of this session? Well, certainly the cost of change was most impressive. Indeed, the ratio of 5 to 1 up to 10 to 1 in terms of the uh, 1 million euro spend on an IT ERP system change can represent anything to 5 to 10 million dollar cost of change. Uh, so very frightening, in fact, statistics on the cost of change. Uh, with respect to the government examples, uh, interesting to note that there is now a strong recognition that flexible IT systems are important in order to respond properly to citizen and constituent needs, but are also critical in order to address the budget cuts that are ahead. And so less anticipation of reduction of IT spend. In fact, uh, all panel members agreed that uh, Investment, continued investment in flexible IT tools will be essential for governments to meet their budget constraints going forward. Okay. And what are some things that was very new for you? So, um, what was very new was the level of sensitivity in a national sense to data storage. We had the Dutch government representative who uh, opined that the Dutch government will never store its data outside of the Netherlands, which indeed is uh, in contradiction with European law, because as we have the European Union, in fact, governments of all member states are entitled to store their data in any of the member states. But indeed, the topic is uh, a sensitive one to citizens as well as to politicians, and no doubt that will continue to fuel the debate going forward. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.